So here is part two of my birthday haul. And I have a few other things besides books in this haul. So let's just get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is the birthday gift from my younger sister. She bought me tickets to go see Seth MacFarlane perform jazz songs here in my city. And <laughs> it was great. He not only has a great singing voice, um, but he's also super, super funny. And he did all he even sang as his characters from Family Guy and um, American Dad. And it was just, it was a jazz concert and comedy show in one. And I'm so glad that we decided to go. It was like on a whim. It was a lot of fun. So thanks, Kathy, for that. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the 3DS. I played this game on N64 and my sisters and I took turns playing it. I can't remember if we ever actually finished it, <laughs> but I remember loving it on uh, the 64. So finally I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy my own copy so I can hopefully finish it now. <laughs> Next up is Amelie. It is one of my favorite movies. Now I have it so I can always enjoy it. We want to do something artsy and write letters to people, <laughs> but I'm just glad that I finally have it on DVD. And then from the Disney store, I saw this a couple like months ago, and then I finally was like, I'm gonna go and get it. Uh, it was I went to the Disney store and picked up Cogsworth. I know it's kind of really Kim, a stuffed animal. Well, in this case, a stuffed clock. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney um, movie, and. Since the special anniversary edition was coming out, they had a lot of Beauty and the Beast items at their Disney store, and I got super, super excited, but out of all of the stuffed uh, characters that they had there, Cogsworth was the cutest, and he's also like the, just the perfect size, and he fits great on my bed. I always feel a little weird about the human characters' plushies. They just look really awkward, so I decided not to get that, <laughs> and I thought one is enough. One, one stuffed character from the movie was is just great. First book I want to talk about is Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell and this was a book that they gave away for National Book Day I think in the UK, uh, World Book Day I think, and if you are a fan of Rainbow Rowell I'm sure you've already read it or if you're a fan of Star Wars like I am then I'm sure you have been wanting to read it. It's about a young girl who is super excited about the new Star Wars movie and so she decides to line up because when the original movies came out, um, a lot of people would dress up as the characters and wait in line to get tickets first. So she wanted to have that experience of standing around with a bunch of other Star Wars fans, waiting for the movie to start. <sighs> Sadly, it's just not what she's expecting. The next book I want to talk about is Soppy by Philippa Rice. And this is a little graphic novel um, about Philippa Rice and her um, relationship. But it's just about like dating and different situations, you know, like it's just too cute and I love it. I just absolutely love it. And it's just like the beginning of the relationship and things you can relate to and oh my god, and when they first move in together. I mean, it's just all the cute things of a relationship and I love it. It's such a cute love story and the illustrations are adorable and I mean... How can you not find it? How can you not find it adorable? I mean, ugh, I can't say enough about it, and it just makes me all cheery and stuff after looking through it. Next up is a book I've been wanting for quite a long time, and it is a graphic novel by Dave McKean called Sally Lloyd, and it is an erotic graphic novel. I've never owned an erotic graphic novel, um, but this one is probably the one to have if you, if I was going to get one. And. A lot, a lot, like a lot of graphic novels, the illustrations will change throughout, um, some, I mean, sometimes, and Dave McKean starts off with a certain type of, like, grainy line, ink kind of drawings. I can find, I can't really show you too many of these pictures. I don't know what it is about his style of art, but I just can't get enough of his style, and I think he's one of, he's, oh, he's been my favorite, one of my favorite artists for quite some time now. Uh, and I think it's about a married couple who have lost what made them, I guess, passionate about each other. And it kind of goes through, I don't know, I think the, the female protagonist kind of goes through the stages 
of things. It's kind of hard to interpret. Um, there's no text in it, it's all just pictures. If this kind of stuff doesn't really appeal to you, don't worry. Um, I just, I really like Dave McKean's artwork and I want to own everything he's ever um, illustrated and done. And this was by him, so I was really excited to see something that was solely his kind of story and work. Next book is a book that I bought for my niece, but also for me too, because I am a knitter is this picture book called Extra Yarn by Mac Barnett, illustrated by John Classen. And I saw this a while back, and I've been, again, as I mentioned several times, I um, have been putting books aside for my niece, and again, this one was kind of for me as well. <laughs> um, but the artwork for this book is just super beautiful. It's like a watercolor, um, watercolor kind of style. And it's about a little girl who finds a magic box filled with a never-ending supply of um, yarn. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's about her, like, a little venture with her and her magic yarn box. So it's just adorable, perfect, and all-around cute, and I can't wait to read it to my niece. And the book that I'm currently reading right now is called Faded by S.G. Brown. And I am loving this book so much. It has like the seven deadly sins and emotions and other things like that uh, personified. And the main character is Fate. And he goes by the name Fabio. He's in charge of certain people. And he has a love-hate relationship or hate-hate relationship with Destiny. Uh, and his best friends are Sloth and Gluttony. I love it when... Um, I can read a story about something like this, um, emotions, human emotions, and he fought Fabio is kind of tired of being fate because he's kind of more, his job is more negative, whereas Destiny has all these cool people in her, like, who she's in charge of, and then of course Fabio falls in love with a girl, a human girl, and that's not really something they should do. Um, so yeah. I have yet to finish it. I'm kind of halfway through. I've kind of just been um, reading slowly because I didn't want it to end, but also I haven't had too much time to read and I didn't really buy too many books. I bought quite a few books. I just haven't bought a lot of books this month because I was buying myself a lot of things throughout this whole month, uh, throughout September anyway. So <laughs> terrible, I know. So yeah, that, that was my birthday haul that I went a little overboard, but I mean, I had to, right? The whole month was my birthday. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!